Welcome back. It's time for POB News. Now for a quick dance break. No. No. Why? Is it winter? <laughs> Is it spring? I have no idea. Here to tell you more is Issa. The weather is uh, pretty okay, I guess. Um, a little bit of rain here and there. Um, but I would suggest that the uh, good people of Plainview stop wearing shorts and t-shirts late winter and early spring. You are not impressing anybody. I know you feel cold. Put on a t uh, sweater and uh, some pants. Back to you. As always, that was extremely helpful. Sure. Anyway, next we have some new content. So last Tuesday, several exceptional teachers and parents in POB were recognized with the Founders Day Awards for their hard work and dedication. Our PTA hosted the event right here at JFK in the cafeteria. It was transformed into a fine dining space with twinkle lights and decorations and, as Mr. Murray said, turned our auditorium into a New York City theater. The very deserving honorees from JFK were Mr. Carter and Ms. Muller, and a beautiful tribute was made in honor of Mr. Hanlon. Congratulations to all. Next up, POB JFK's official spring sports season kicked off last week. Here to tell you more is Alana. Hi everyone. As spring sports kick off our final season of 2022-2023 sports, we are looking forward to all that these teams have to offer. All of these teams have great potential this year and you can be a part of the experience. Flag football is one of my favorites and is on track for a great season. Two of their players have earned an honorable mention by Newsday's High School Sports Top 25 Girls Football Players on Long Island. It's clear already with two wins under their belt that they are the team to watch this season. Similar to our lacrosse teams who are looking to make improvements after last season and have high expectations to reach the playoffs. Our track and field team is also worth mentioning as they have been putting in a lot of hard work during their practices and are determined to bring home some victories for POB JFK at their upcoming meets. Additionally, our tennis team has some talented players who are eager to showcase their skills and compete against other districts around Long Island. Badminton is ready to continue their success and hope to take their three-time conference championship status to the next level this season. Golf season teed off in Bethpage this past weekend in a fun round to get ready for this season. We look forward to seeing their practice pay off in their upcoming competition. It's worth noting that our varsity baseball team has been training for quite some time and is sure to be ready for this year's competition. Players to watch, once again, honorable in mentions by Newsday's top 100 baseball players on Long Island are senior Andrew Lenski and juniors Michael D'Ambrosio and Sebastian Littman. Our softball team is off to a successful start as well to their season with a 2-0 record. With two Newsday Top 100 athletes, pitcher Alexa Hospitar and shortstop Rachel Krogman, they are certainly a team to watch this season. With high scoring games and plenty of excitement, our POB teams are definitely worth checking out. So whether you're a fan of lacrosse, track and field, tennis, baseball, softball, or even badminton, there's something for everyone at POB JFK. Let's up the Hawks as the weather gets warmer. We'll see you out in the bleachers. Thank you, Alana. Amber and Leela are back in the JFK hallways, and this time they're asking students and staff what inspires them most. Take it away, guys. Who am I here with? Mr. Avila. So what inspires you the most to do your very best during the day? Uh, I think what inspires me the most is just uh, the drive to earn myself a better life and keep working to achieve all the goals that I set forward for myself earlier on in my life so that I can keep kind of striving towards those things. Who are we here with today? Sajin Galati. What grade are you in? 12th. What inspires you the most to get up in the morning? Low key, um, Miss Herman. She's my economics teacher. She's honestly the reason I come here every day. And that's it. That's very sweet. 
Thank you. What inspires you to get up in the morning? Well, I love my career, teaching, and to be with the students. The students have the energy that gets passed on into the school community, and I've been doing it for 42 years. What inspires you to teach your students every day? What inspires me to teach my students every day? I had some really wonderful teachers, and I always wanted to return the favor. I think that my job is the best because besides getting to come to work every day and play with art materials, I'm teaching you guys to problem solve and become creative problem solvers. Who am I here with? Ava Fructor. Irina. What inspires you the most? My best friend. Ava. <laughs> State your name. Uh, Liam. What grade? Eleventh. Uh, what inspires you the most to do your very best during the day? Uh, do a good work. A good job at doing work. Who am I here with? Mr. D. Martinez, social studies teacher. What motivates you the most? Uh, I think it comes down to family, uh, my family, and uh, the idea that this world could be a little bit better for them, but for everybody. That was epic. Thank you, Amber and Leela. Are you okay? Did you hear that? Hear what? Never mind. I thought I heard like a bird or something. It was, oh, it was okay. Nothing. Oh no. Not again. to this super villain. Huh, well, thank you Period 7 for that wonderful trailer. It actually does look pretty good. Also, just to clarify, no hawks were harmed in the making of this film. To finish up this week's POB news, we'd like to mention this year's POB Media field trip to Five Towns College. Students in both Ms. McCarroll's second and seventh period classes have submitted to this year's Luminary Film Festival. Enjoy these quick student-made trailers for Five Towns. can't be seen does that apply to you and me too there's some things i've been meaning to say to you like i just want to breathe this that's so hard to believe Looks like that's all we have time for today, POV. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Edit us out of here! <laughs> Anything! Please! Add a special effect oh or something! Can you add some explosions to the back? Yeah, add some, add some explosions. Like, cue the explosions right now. Thank you. Bye. Bye.